The Waves L316 Multi Maximizer is a 16-band auto-summing peak limiter, and it's the fourth member of the L-Series family. This really isn't a plugin that you use in a session on a submaster or master track. This is a plugin that you use on the two-track version to do the final mastered version. The 16 bands are laid out in a six-band EQ style, which makes it easier for you to control, but gives you an amazing amount of sound precision. If you've used the L3 before, then you'll be familiar with the layout of the L316. Most of the faders and buttons do exactly the same thing. However, this plugin has a lot more power when it comes to fine tuning those frequencies and limiting. We've given the L316 a linear phase crossover network and it really helps deliver great results that are totally free of phase distortion. If you click over here in the release characters, you're gonna find a great variety of sonic flavors, which give you the chance to add some analog warmth all the way over to a digital cool sound. The release characters affect the behavior of ARC, the automatic release control. So over here on the left, we've got the global limiting section. Remember the button in the middle locks the two faders and lets you move them at the same time. Down here, you've got your IDR section with your release characters, etc. This is the paragraphic 16 band EQ. It's gonna give you a visual of which frequencies are being limited. And you also see here which frequencies you've prioritized and which ones you want no limiting on at all. The orange line that you see moving around all the time is your attenuation on each of the different frequencies. The yellow line is your priority curve. That's gonna tell you which frequencies you've told it to limit and which ones you've told it to ignore. Your EQ is displayed by the blue line. So that's gonna give you a quick visual of exactly where you've made your adjustments. If you move it up and down, you're gonna change the gain or the priority. If you're moving it horizontally, you're changing the frequency. You can also do controls from this area down here. This is where you've got your priority underneath the gain for the frequency, the actual frequency if you wanna dial in a specific, and then your cue. So you can really control exactly what you're seeing and hearing. At the moment, I've got this plugin open in a two track master. This is a session that has a lot of dynamics and there's a lot of low end in there that I wanna keep, but I don't want it to muddy up the final mix. Let me show you what I've done and then I'll take you through how I did it. I've ignored the low mids, and over here I've adjusted the frequency a bit, but mostly what I've done is raise the frequency in the high end, fine tune that with the crossover, and just make sure that those cymbals really cut through. The L316 has a lot of things going on in the foreground and the background, so we really don't suggest that you use it in a session. It's much better used on the final two track so that you can polish the mix.